Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to talk to you about where I find reference images for my watercolor paintings. So stay tuned. Let's get started. So when I paint in watercolor, I almost always use a reference image. Let me show you some of my recent paintings. Um, and you should be able to see the reference image. Oops, up over in that corner. Uh, for example, here's a pink lotus that I recently did. Um, or this portrait of a small child that I recently did as well. You can see the reference image that I used for it. Or lastly, here's uh, a commission that I did of a pet portrait that I, I painted recently, uh, a friend's dog. And in almost all, in all these cases, I used a reference image. Uh, I think most artists do. I don't usually paint from memory or imagination. Uh, I almost always have an image or multiple images that I use together to create the painting that I'm trying to create. And um, so the question is, where do I get my reference images? Where do I get my images? So if you look online or here on YouTube, you're going to see a lot of suggestions from artists where they find the reference images. Here are some of the most common suggestions. First of all, Pinterest is commonly used by people to find reference images. For example, say I wanted to paint a painting of tulips and I went to Pinterest and just searched for tulip or tulips. I would find all kinds of great images of tulips. Another common suggestion is Instagram. Again, I went to Instagram and I put in the search term tulips or tulip flowers and I find all these really beautiful images. Some are photographs, some are paintings, some are, oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. It's great. Instagram is a great source of images. Or thirdly, another suggestion commonly given is Google Images. I just go to Google, Google Images specifically, we're searching just for images and wow, look at all these great images images of tulips that you could use as a reference image for your painting. But there's a problem. So what is the problem? The problem is those websites that I just showed you, uh, when you find images from there and use them as your reference image for your paintings, you're not assured that those reference images are copyright free. In fact, most of the time they're not copyright free. Why is that a problem? Well, all of the images that I use and that I paint from always end up on my social media and they end up on my personal website. And uh, many times when I put those on these sites, I am commonly approached by people who want to purchase my images, my, purchase my paintings. And of course, um, I want to sell my paintings. And so I want to assure that the paintings that I do, uh, that no one is claiming any kind of rights to those images that might interfere with my ability to sell on my website. I also just want to be able to freely share my work and know that no one is going to come later and again, claim some kind of copyright. So what's the solution to the problem? I want to share uh, two recommendations that I use uh, to assure that I don't have a problem with copyright. Okay. And the very first recommendation is I use copyright free image sites. I don't use the sites that I just showed you. Instead, I use a site called unsplash.com. Let's take a look at it. All right, here's unsplash.com in my browser window. Again, it's simply unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H, unsplash.com. And I go there and you can see, I've already opened the site and I've searched for the word tulips. And you can see beautiful images uh, come up and these are all guaranteed to be copyright free. Let's take a look at the licensing agreement that all photographers have to abide by if they put their images on this website. So here you see the license agreement that all photographers agree to in order to put their images here. Unsplash photos are made to be used freely. And it states here that all photos can be downloaded, they can be used for free, they can be used for commercial and non-commercial purposes. So yes, you can take images here and paint from them freely and be able to freely sell anything that you create. No one can claim any copyright to those images. And so if I'm going to go to the effort 
right, to create artwork from other images or from images that I use, I want to make sure that I am free to sell that work. So how do you use Unsplash? Simply come to unsplash.com, type in your search term again. So uh, I've been looking for tulips and you're going to see just beautiful uh, collection of images. If you find a particular image that you really want to use later or to save for later use, you can create what's called a collection. I have lots of collections. So you simply click on the plus here and either create a new collection. I already have a flower collection going, so I'm just gonna choose that. And then I can uh, come back later, find these images and use them when I'm ready to paint. So here are all the collections I've created in Unsplash. I have images sorted by different types of paintings I like to do, florals, birds, people, clouds, etc. And you can see all those collections here. This is a great way to find and organize reference images for your paintings. I highly recommend it. Earlier, I promised two different recommendations for you to solve this copyright dilemma. The first is to use copyright free image websites. The second idea, however, and I think it's even a better idea, is to take your own photographs. That's right, get out with your camera and take your own photos and use those for your reference images for your photographs. There are two primary advantages to using your own photos. Number one, you were there. What do I mean by that? You were in the scene when you took the picture. And so as a result, you have all kinds of emotions and impressions, the sights, the sounds, the feelings that you felt when you were in that place. There was a reason why you took that photo because you were inspired by it. And all of that you will remember when it comes time to paint. And so that's probably the number one advantage to using your own images for your reference images is because you were there. Okay, benefit number two for using your own photos is that you own the copyright. That's the most obvious reason. Uh, you already own the picture and no one has any rights to that image but you. However, you might still argue you're not a very good photographer or maybe your pictures don't seem to turn out very good so they're not very inspiring for reference images. But I would like to suggest that a mm, kind of average picture that you might not think of as a super awesome picture might actually be the best kind of image to use for your reference image rather than you know the perfect photograph. Let me give you an example. So here's a scene near my house. I was out on a winter day taking a walk and I saw this mailbox. There was something about it that was intriguing. That rusty color up against the green trees in the background and the blue sky up above. Many of those colors you can't even really see in the photograph. It's not really all that great of a picture. However, like I said earlier, sometimes a blah picture can turn into a great painting. Here's the painting I did from that reference image. A lot brighter colors, a lot greater sense of focus in on, that, on the uh, mailbox itself. The bright orange colors of the mailbox standing against the green trees in the background. I think it turned into a pretty cool painting, but it came from a pretty average reference image. So I hope this has been a helpful video for you, how to find and use reference images. Uh, if you like this video and it was helpful, please hit the like button. I, I like it when you hit the like button. And also if you want to subscribe to my channel, I put out videos about once a week, uh, all about watercolor and everything having to do with that. I do product reviews. I do tutorials, paint alongs, speed painting videos and uh, videos like this. Okay. So, uh, if it's been helpful, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.